Welcome BTG Moto viewers to another video here from Nürburgring Village. As you can see, I'm surrounded by cars. There's no motorcycles here, except around this corner. Ta-da! My Aprilia, Dinan's Gas Gas 300, and we are going somewhere over there. What are we doing? We're taking part in the Motorrad Anlassen. So in this video, you're about to see the chaos as 10 to 20,000 motorcycles. I actually don't know how many, but it will be a lot. A lot of motorcycles will be taking part in a free lap of the Nürburgring with a priest who's blessing us all, blessing the track. It's going to be some good times and it's going to be utter chaos. So join me as we go enter the chaos. I don't know what all these guys are doing. I mean, as we're riding up to the track now, it's 15 minutes after the parade lap officially started. It's kind of surprising to me to find all these bikes still here. Unless these guys, you know, didn't understand how it worked. Oh, nice socks, mate. It's always good when you can see people's socks, right, when they're riding. It's a sign that the boots are really working. Here we go. So we are 15 minutes late and it looks like there's so many bikes. Wow. This is the queue to get on the track. And we have to go all the way through the Grand Prix track. I, mean, I can see plates from pretty close. We've got that's Mayan Koblenz, that's Monreal, that's Aachen. This is Arweiler. I'm on Down Kent Station. This guy's Vesterval. These are all regions within an hour or two. But some of them, like, I see a plate up there that's Zwickau. Man, that is not an hour or two away. That's like six or seven hours away. And this is just the queue to get onto the track. This is the queue to get into the Grand Prix circuit. Then there's a queue to get onto the track. The power of free last year when i did this didn't get here till 15 minutes after the track had already opened to bikes and i just rode straight on at the back of the group and it was pretty busy but it was nowhere near as this 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 could be the biggest one i've ever seen i i genuinely thought at this point i was just going to be joining the back of the grid so to speak and joining the back of the group and heading out onto the track to ride our lap and it looks to me like like no no nobody's even riding the track yet we are 21 minutes after the official start time look at this that is a lot of bikes need to check out the old webcam <laughs> oh wow so i'm pretty sure the car park is already full my word that is a lot of bikes eh that is a lot of bikes oh wow we're all the way down into the mercedes arena what are they there? They're about four wide, five wide, six wide. <laughs> oh, they're, they're a lot more than six wide. Look at that. The hairpin is full. <laughs> this, is, this is a lot for my brain to take in. Wow, that's his field moped, oder? Ich hab das niemal gesehen, wieso? Niemal! <laughs> this is wild! Yeah! Yep! I'll, I'll join in a moment, I'm just taking a couple of photos. It's wild! Are they going? Yeah, they're moving. Come on, let's go. <laughs> they're moving. Eat your cake, Dan. This has to be a record. So they're still coming on. Bearing in mind, we're at the back, okay? And they're still coming on in front of me. And up there, they're moving out. Ah. I heard it. Uh... That sounded like a bike going over, didn't it, to me? I could see it, yeah. You could see there's a whole bunch of people stood still. Quick shout out for the, uh, for the 360 camera to Panox who sent me this. Thank you very much, Panox. I hope they've got the engine warming up on the helicopter. No, to pick up whoever dies on this. 
You can't you can't put twenty thousand motorcycles in one place and have everybody live. <laughs> I don't know. There's so many bikes on the hairpin. There's there's like a thousand bikes just on that hairpin. Have you got um have you got a recluse clutch on that? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Does it work well? It works okay. Okay. Well, so begins a very long journey. A little over 21 kilometers, I guess. Kawasaki Kampferreit. Brilliant. Let's have a look at that from up close, shall we? Yes, Kampferreit, Ninja. That means ready to fight, by the way, just in case you need some translation on that. I wish I'd put my 360 camera up a bit higher. I forgot the selfie stick and now I'm feeling really dumb. I do like the rear end on these Ducatis. How long will it take us to do a full lap of the Nürburgring at this speed? I've got a good view on this one. I'm going to stay here. I like the back end of these Ducatis. This du oh, oh, like oh yeah. Okay. Oh my God. The hydrocarbons. Oh, my fuel lights come on. Brilliant. I hope I'm not phoning somebody to throw me a can of fuel over the fence. Look how far we are from the front still. I mean, there's like another 300 meters, 400 meters to the Nordschleife from here. And we are, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. More than 10 bikes abreast. A bike every two and a half meters. I'd say, let's say a bike every three meters. So let's just do the math here. If we're saying that when it's all bunched up like this, we are one bike per three meters and there's 300 meters ahead, then it's 100 times 10 wide. So there's a thousand bikes ahead of us, just, just to that next bridge, the one after the BMW bridge. And we're at the back of this group and this has been rolling now for something like 30, 40 minutes. I can see the traffic on the Nordschleife for its stop start as well. Oh, this is it. We're nearly at the track. Well, I think officially this will be my slowest lap of the Nürburgring ever. Oh, wow. Ride in paradise, 20 the 3rd this month. Man, it's been a rough year, eh? <laughs> it's so packed that people don't want to join it. They're like, oh, let's just wait until it's less busy. Little do they know that they will be shuffled along from the back by the marshals into the back of this queue anyway. So you may as well make the most of it, folks. This is what it is. But I probably took about 20,000 kilometers off my clutch, though. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, my God. I just want to let my clutch out for a little bit. Somebody's dropped some fluid. It's quite a sight, really. I mean, never have I ever seen so many motorcycles on the Nürburgring. And I've, I think the official numbers for 2019, the year before COVID, was something like 18,000 motorcycles. I'll have to check, but I think we beat it this year. It took a few years, but I think we got there in the end. So many people just parking to watch. I mean, that kind of happened a little bit before, but it didn't happen that much. Oh, the helicopter's up. That's not good. Where is the helicopter going? And is he leaving his wheels down? If he's leaving his wheels down, then he's not going far. Can confirm the undercarriage is still down on the helicopter. Yes, it is. Where is he going? He's not going to his refueling stop. He's going somewhere else. Looks like he's going out onto the Nordschleife. Ah, uh, he's probably going to an accident that's on the public road, to be honest. I can't imagine somebody needing a helicopter from this. Let's just turn the engine off for a bit. We're downhill for a while here. Man, I'm in fuel saving mode. Oh my God. I've never seen all these bikes just parked at the sides either. Oh, what, what, what's happening here? Are we picking up speed? Oh, somebody's got the jump pack out. Look at that. <laughs> somebody's got the jump pack out already. Well, that was really something. 
I shut my visor. At last, we've just reached Hatsum back and we have achieved the amazing speed of 40 kilometers per hour, something which I haven't seen for over an hour. Um, a lot of people complain to me about how hot the Aprilia gets. It's, it's a, this has been a really good test of it because the actual temperature was something around 16, 17 degrees. The thermometer on the bike is telling me the air temperature is 23, which is because basically we are being slightly cooked by the engine heat of the Aprilia. It's not terrible though. I've definitely seen worse. Do you want me to do, look, I talked about hats about, do you want me to do names? I could use this later. This is Quiddlebach Ahoa. A lot of people think that this is Flugplatz because Flugplatz means airport or flying place, you know? <laughs> the dude here, look at this dude doing the wheelie. That's a good wheelie, man. That's a good wheelie. But it's not actually Flugplatz. The next section is called Flugplatz. So the, that's Quiddlebacker Ho with the Quiddlebacker Heights. And this is Flugplatz. The big long triple left. And people don't even know this is a triple left. But let me tell you, this is your apex. And then you're letting the bike run out. And I want you all the way out on the right hand side near the 82. Look. 82, right hand side, that's where you should be. And then your bottom left down here. Oh, that's a lot of noise coming off the old quad bike, eh? Man, that's noisy. Imagine riding that. Oh, I'd rather not, actually. I'd rather not imagine it. God, it's like farm equipment, isn't it? Looking at this guy's tyre, I swear he's just unpacked that bike from the van. And that's got like zero kilometres on that bike. Look at this. It's the famous curb. Let's take this curb then. Let's just pop up here. Woohoo! Did you take the curb at the foxhole? Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, there's a. There was a big old oil spill here, look, earlier. There we go, look. I'm happy now. I'm happy. I got my little wheelie in. Oh, there's a safety car up there. Kesselschen is normally a lot faster than this. I mean, we're talking about here, this is a 160 kilometer per hour corner, about 100 miles an hour. And that's not even lap record speed. That's just, you know, quick guy speed is about 100 miles an hour at the apex. Another one that's confusing for people because it's Kesselschen. At the top here, it's Kloster Tal. That one back there was the Angst Curver or Mutt Curver, depending on who you speak to. Should we pull over and see what's happening? Okie dokie. We are just over halfway round. I'm on my third set of batteries. The 360 camera, she's dead. She's out of battery. And for reasons I don't exactly understand, she says she's out of space as well. It's got 128 gig card in it that I believed I thought was empty. Anyway, let's go.
Okay, well, it's a little bit quicker at the back here. Now the traffic's died down a bit. And this is Brunchen. <laughs> this, this CBR 650R or whatever it is, what is it, a CBR 500? I'm not even sure. He's got crash written all over him. Oh yeah, what's this SSR doing, eh? <laughs> wow. I have to say, it's a little bit loose at the back here. It's like people are pretending to go fast. But except I think they think they're really going fast actually. Like this guy in the CBR look he's, he's he tried to do a little wheelie over the jump by just yanking it. Well, there you go. This is what it looks like when you get out of that big traffic jam. There was a massive crash here today with a 911 chasing one of our cars. These boys are stopping in an interesting place. Okay. Careful. Look at this, this is the last corner. This is busy, eh? Nobody wants to get off, everybody wants to stop. Oh, it's parking by the looks of it. Oh, they all have to get off at the uh, at the Duttinger Hoa. Well, damn, boy. We're pulling over. Well, I think we should get a video of this. Okay, having been ungracefully moved from my little parking position, I now have to join this queue. And holy moly, is that a queue? That is a heck of a queue. They're like, hurry up, hurry up and queue. Look at this. Oh, nice. Nice Tuareg. Good colour scheme too, the silver, black and red, that's the best. Well, I think the end of the lap is the most interesting for seeing bikes and people. Oh, that's the CBR 1000 that we saw at the start. Uh, I think we're approaching the back of the queue. I got moved. The safety cars came around and they moved me. This is the busiest I've ever seen it. But this queue's awful. There's no way I'm, I'm you know, rushing to get in that queue. They can sweep me up at the end again. This lady is shouting at me in German to get moving and to go faster. And that's where she wants me. So I have to get from here to there because I'm holding up everything. She's going to shout at me again. Please get on your motorbike, she's saying. Oh, the man with the MV Augusta. I feel your pain. He's got to push it out because this is too slow for that bike. It'll literally overheat. Might even do the head gasket. Whoa, look at the hole here. They missed that. That's a nasty hole. Oh my God. Well, we're about just less than 400 meters away now. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 bikes wide, 
probably about four meters per bike on average. So we're at least a thousand bikes away from the front of this queue. But looking at the variable density, I'm going to guesstimate more like 1,500 to 2,000 bikes ahead of us. And this is the end of the day. Look, we're at 6.30 now. Wild. Oh, I wonder what's happening up there. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. Look at that. Look <laughs> at that little, little Piaggio there. Well, we are moving. Update is 841 and we're getting close. Here's our Holy Father blessing us all. I mean, he's been doing non-stop blessings for what? Two hours at least. I mean, if we left at just after four o'clock, then that means that he's been blessing since about 4.30 and it's now 6.42. That's excellent. Oh, we got a Catholic and a Protestant. This is it. I can't miss out my chance to be blessed. Hashtag blessed. That's me. I don't, they've not blessed me. Come on, Father. Thank you. <laughs> Man, when you're riding a motorbike every day, you need every bit of help you can get. I don't, I don't care if it's made up or not. Wow, I can smell a lot of clutch here. Some drama up here. Oh, 2%. Okay, boys and girls. It's shutting down. Oh, there's, there's a lot of water down here. Look at all the little telltale droplets. So many blown up bikes. Oi, oi, oi. Okay, we're going left. Goodbye, everybody. We are out of here. Oh. Well, that's it. We're back. We made it. How many hours did that take? It's nearly seven o'clock. It's nearly seven o'clock and there's still people on the track. Unbelievable. That was a big one. That was a big one. Anyway, that's it for today. So, you know, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you on the next video.